happens, but at the moment Giovinardi being shown as sixth ahead of Stephen Kane, then Matt Neal in eighth, Matt Jackson ninth, Adam Jones in tenth place, Mike George eleventh, Stephen Jelly is twelfth, Michael Doyle in a competitive thirteenth, and this is great to see Michael going so well this weekend. He got his first points last time at a cross. He's got a new colour scheme on the car. Ah, it was a barrier. It was a barrier that got moved partly off the track. That was the reason for the safety car. Down at Russell, the final hairpin, the final chicane. So someone obviously straight lined it and turfed the tyres into the uh, into the track. Let's see if we can find out. Now this was coming around on when the yellow flags had come out. Now they are still racing. Yeah, yeah. They're still racing to the actual line. Little touch there, another touch there. another look from the other angle yeah. here because we'll see them actually come across the line on this one won't we? just shows how hard Giovinardi is prepared to fight he will fight every inch well Kane's moving over on him there to make him go the long way round and then it's a case of well in fact Giovinardi was in front as they crossed yeah. the line that's why he's shown in front on the timing screens and that's perfectly legitimate yeah absolutely they're allowed to race back to the line he did that and he just got ahead of Stephen Kane despite Stephen being fairly forceful in his uh, defensive attempts so now that puts Jim and Arnie between the two motor-based BMWs. You've got Collard ahead of him now in the number 25 car. Stephen came behind him in the number 24 car. So that'll be interesting on the restart. We've had uh, 14 laps of this race so far. We're on lap 15 out of what is currently 18, but we'll get these laps added to this as well. Let's see if we can have a, a quick word lights quick out. word with Darren Turner because the lights are out on the safety car. He's playing in the commentary box. Quick word with you, Darren. Things going okay at the moment? Jason uh, can get it to the lights now, but I'm sure uh, Gordon's going to be pushing like crazy now that we've got a few laps left. So uh, just trying to get temperature in the tyres and uh, see what happens in these last few laps. OK, we'll let you get ready for the restart. The lights are out on the safety car, so we know they are going to be going for it. And uh, just heading down towards Russell Corner. Everybody bunched up, so an opportunity here for one or two who might be brave to go for it. Plato making sure he's got plenty of heat in the tyres. Here we go then, safety car comes into the pits. And the Saiyans are on the power immediately. Plato makes a good restart. I don't know if Darren's got a bit of a problem. He's got a problem with his gear shift. He can't change gear. Here comes Gordon Shedden attacking for second. There's an opportunity to get on. Puncher, left front. Puncher on the Sayat. Disaster for Sayat when they were looking all set for another one too. And it's a puncher on the left front for Darren Turner. It wasn't just a gear shift problem. Much more serious than that. Plato's on his own up front now. And that promotes the others. So, Shedden moves up into second place. Turkington's up to third as Darren Turner desperately just tries to get himself back to the pits. He's not going to get any kind of result out of this. Plato on his own up front now. Shedden into the second place and under pressure from Colin Turkington. Look at Giovinardi having a little look to get past Rob Collard. Not quite close enough just yet. But this is what just what Giovinardi wanted, didn't he, after that difficult start. The pack to be closed up again. A few more laps of racing. He's got a fast start. Very aggressive. Just what he needed to keep the, the championship points rolling in. But Collard is notoriously feisty himself and a hard man to pass. Collard and, and Giovinardi have come together before. Now Giovinardi's going to go for it down the inside. He's trying to take the play. Oh, yes. So good on the brakes. I mean, he brakes so late and yet the car was stable. Yeah, very committed. Um, totally totally committed to the manoeuvre Collard didn't even put up a fight I think it was so straightforward that he would, if he tried to move over he'd have been hit up the back Giovinardi's now fourth I mean when you think how far back he dropped at the early part of this race he's now fought his way back into fourth he's been held by a couple of other cars coming out but Plato won't like to see that in his mirrors because now that red and white box is only two cars from where he is and Giovinardi scoring points in the championship other Vauxhall there of Matt Neal on a bit of a charge as well with those motor-based BMWs ahead. Well, as we said it before, but these are the sort of races where champions really show their mettle. And it would have been easy after he got uh, nerfed sideways, lost a load of places, to have lost his head. But he hasn't. He's just got his head down, moved forward, moved forward. He's still going. He's got a possibility of two more places here. Oh, out of uh, Darren Turner. He's out. But look at this. This is great. This is for second now. You're on board third place, Turkington. Right behind Gordon Shedden. And remember, Giovinardi is behind both of them. Trying to take it by. Oh, it's a mistake from Shedden. Turkington through. Shedden's on the grass. He's trying to hold it. And Giovinardi's got first as well. And so has Rob Collard. Turkington is into second place. Giovinardi into third position. And we've still got, what is it, three?
three laps to go as they cross the line this time. Jason Plato well in front, but you know what? Giovinardi might still take second. Yeah, well, there's just the faintest hint of a black mark on the left front um, splitter there of Turkington, so there may have been a bit of contact with um, Shedden going into Coram, but... Giovinardi isn't finished. No, certainly not. We had some more people on the car. Look how much curve he uses at Sia. Really is aggressive on the curve, Giovinardi, but so far so good it's working for him. The Vauxhall and the BMW. See, look, there's nothing between them on the straight. That's how evenly matched they are. I think that's incredible when you've got two cars, different shapes, different engines, and so evenly matched on the straight. Turkey's turn, little tiny mistake, and Giovinardi saw it, almost tried to take advantage, but ultimately couldn't. So it's still the Team RAC BMW of Turkey turn second, the BXR Racing Vestra of Giovinardi in third, and in fourth place is Rob Collard, fifth Stephen Kane, and sixth is Matt Neal. Yeah, I thought that Giovinardi would be attacking here into uh, Russell, but he lost a bit of time going through the bomb hole. Um, Turkington's goal was really well balanced through there. Good on the brakes though, Giovinardi, as ever, tight over the curves, Matt Neal in the back of that group, and Gordon Shedden still there, he hasn't vanished altogether, but he's down in seventh position now. So the restart didn't work out for him, Matt Jackson is running in eighth place, Mike Jordan ninth, Adam Jones back up into tenth place, Stephen Jelly is in eleventh. Well, I think Shedden was very lucky with that trip on the grass outside the Corum, that it wasn't wet. If that had been yesterday, he'd have just slid off into the barriers. But, as you say, he managed to get back on and is still in seventh place. Slightly different line from Giovinardi. He turns it a bit tighter, a bit earlier, into a corner. Turkington in the rear-wheel drive car sort of squares the corner off a bit more. And as again, as they come onto the Revit straight, they're absolutely matched mile per hour for mile per hour here. No change in that gap. Despite a bit of slipstream, you'd think that the slipstream might favour the guy behind but it's not to be it's a strong engine in the BMW and it just stays ahead through there again Giovinardi tries to get the exit better this time this is where he lost a bit yeah, I just watched through here this time Giovinardi's a little bit better but uh, he, he will certainly think that, that um, into Russell is his best chance he needs to be fully committed through here he just can't be close enough to uh, circumstances to launch a, an attack no and he got to protect the car Matt Neal down the inside behind them Matt Neal's managed to get past Stephen Kane and that was a good move in fact, Stephen Kane may lose out to Gordon Shedden here as well. He's got Matt Jackson bearing down on him, and that's the trouble. If one car gets through, quite often it's two, three, four cars, and Stephen Kane now has Gordon Shedden moving to his outside. Turkey to Giovinardi, then Collard, then Matt Neal, now ahead of Stephen Kane, who just about fights off Shedden, who actually lost out to Jackson. Yeah, Jackson just stuck his nose up behind uh, Kane and followed him through. That's car style, a bit of drafting. Yeah, good stuff. It is all about strategy and tactics. It's just being in the right place at the right time when it gets this close. We're on the final lap though here. Jason Plato has a three and a half second lead, but it's behind him that all the fun and games is going on. Plato surely heading for another victory, but here comes Giovinardi having a look at second. Not quite there. Turkington defending. Defending resolutely. No contact made through the left and the right. Now just the two quick corners and the final chicane at Russell. Turkington should be able to hold on here. Jason Plato out in front. He's not troubled at all, but he will be a little trouble to have seen Giovinardi move back up the order quite so effectively in this race. It is amazing how Giovinardi can dig himself out of trouble and that's what he's done here in the second race of the day. It's going to be victory once again for the second time today for Sayat, for Jason Plato. Four wins this season, but second place goes to Turkey's and a third goes to Giovinardi. Collard comes home in fourth, Matt Neal is fifth, and Steve Gordon Shedd, no he drops back in the bit there so then it's Stephen Kane in sixth, Matt Jackson is out of Gordon Shedd is in eighth. Well, what a race that was, and Jason Plato dominant, but it just shows you the problems for Darren Turner, you never know what's going to happen. Well, just, D Jason Plato will have no idea what sort of a race that was behind him, will he? Uh, because all the talk won't be about his victory, it'll be about all the action behind. That was great stuff going on behind him. Um, Jason, as you say, had it all very easy, didn't he? He didn't have to worry, he had his teammate behind him most of the time, and when he didn't, he then just eased away on the restart. Jason that might be a, a comfortable winner, but behind him, those guys knew they were in a race, with Turkington in particular, doing well to hold on to second place and winning the independence category. Giovinardi third, Collard in fourth place, Matt Neal in fifth, then Stephen Kane, then Matt Jackson, Gordon Shedden, Mike Jordan finished in ninth, Adam Jones in tenth place, and then just outside the point, Stephen Jelly and Jason Hughes, Michael Doyle, good effort from him in the Indian racing car, ahead of Tom Onslow-Cole, then Tom Chilton, John George, Harry Volkard, Martin Bell, Darren 
Turner who lived to the end and Alan Taylor who finished 20th. Jason, well done. Let's